Hello, it's Mindless Insanity 602 reporting to you with Day 20's um, film review. And in Day 20's film review, we're going to be talking about a little film called Lake Placid, which is a 1999 um, R-rated 82-minute action comedy horror film from Steve Miner. Anyways, Lake Placid is a film that, um, that, you know, got into production. I don't know if Steve Miner himself, um, or who originally came up with the idea, but, um, I don't know. Steve Miner's attached to a lot of things in his filmography, in terms of directorial efforts. He is um, a pretty well-known guy, and um, and he did Friday Thirteenth Parts two and three. Two is all right. Love three of Friday Thirteenth. Did Halloween H two O, which is another film that I really love. I love Halloween H two O. You know, and then, and then he did um, the Day of the Dead remake, which is awful. Fuck that movie. That's all I know of horror wise of what he did. So he did um, Lake Placid, which you know came out in the late nineties. Been talking a lot of films from the, the, the late '90s because maybe that's where in the early 2000s that's maybe where the majority of the good flicks came from. Anyways, Lake Placid is about this crocodile, or I don't know, crocodile. Oh yeah, it's a crocodile. I don't know the difference between you know a crocodile. I don't know the major difference between a crocodile and, um, what's those other things that are the same? Alligator. I know alligator. I don't really know much of the difference. I don't know there's apparently some difference. But anyways, you have this crocodile who's killing people, killing people, and then, you know, they're, you get, um, Bill Pullman, um, you get apparently get Oliver Platt, and you also get Bridget Fonda. Anyways, you get those actors, you get a whole bunch of other actors in this film who are playing, you know, characters trying to fight and, you know, destroy this crocodile. There isn't really anything of real note to Lake Placid, I'm sorry, but there is, it's pretty much just a really hollow, it's just a really hollow film. I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, there's nothing that really stands out in it. There's nothing that really stands out in me that like gets me to go and point fingers and say, that's fucking awesome. I want to see more of that. Unfortunately, there's nothing there that, you know, really says, oh, yeah, this film has a lot of rewatchability, and I will be picking up this Blu-ray from the shelf and rewatching it multiple times. I don't really see that happening it's just something that I uh, add to the addition because of the collection because it's a Screen Factory Blu-ray and that's the only reason why I even got it because I'm trying to you know get every single Screen Factory Blu-ray that that they put out. Um, I'm trying to get every single one of them, man. That's the only reason why I got this. And their 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 treatment of Lake Placid is actually pretty good. I think that, you know, it has a really good, um, really good transfer. I think that the transfer is actually really, really good. 
It looks nice. It, you can definitely tell that's in high definition. You get um, a, a healthy layer of extra content in the back. And with this, you have the slip cover. And there's the slip cover, which is the newly commissioned artwork, which I have a poster of on my wall. And then you have, and you're probably saying, well, it's an old orange Blu-ray case. Well, I had a whole bunch of these spared up because I was replacing them with my, replacing my Halloween Complete Collection. And I had put um, these because I thought it would be neat to, to put them in the orange ones. Plus, I could reuse the cases that uh, were being used with these because I'm a cheapskate, a little bit of a cheapskate. When it comes to buying new Blu-rays, I'm not really a fit that much of a cheap sake, but when um, when you just have this, when you're buying Blu-ray, when I'm buying Blu-ray cases, I'm a bit of a cheap sake. So when, if I'm planning on selling a Blu-ray and the case is in semi-good condition, I replace it with a case, that case, with one that looks like it's about to be, you know enhanced needs to be looking fresh anyways they got the orange which although the orange color blu-ray cases in these kind of make them look cheap because a whole bunch, uh, orange I like the color orange but it gets sometimes has a semi-cheap look to it then you open up and you have that in all honesty I I like the one that was on the original DVD cover, that one with the out crocodile. That one looks awesome. I guess this original artwork looks looks pretty lame. And the newly commissioned artwork that they put out for this release looks pretty awful. Um, yeah, you just have the guy eating his Twinkies or something, and then they have the crocodile looks, it looks fucking awful. Um, it looks, you know, doesn't really look up to snuff to other Screen Factory stuff. Um, this is kind of like their Phantasm 2 Blu-ray release, where it's not that very good in terms of packaging. But anyways, it's Screen Factory and, you know, decent. Um, yeah, it's just a decent flick. I don't really hate the film. I don't really think it's that awful. It's just not a very enthusiastic flick. It's not, it doesn't really carry the intelligence. It doesn't really carry the intelligence of, like, Halloween H2O or... The fun, you know, dumb fun, fun slasher flick angle of Halloween H2O. Pretty much, it's pretty much a nothing movie. I don't really, you know, I might rewatch it again. I'm just not a big fan of Lake Placid. It has three sequels. I think part two is, um,. A strictly direct video flick, and then the other are, others are more like direct to TV, um, sci-fi channel films. They all look awful. They look like films that I'm not really interested in. Um, the Anaconda. When you compare this series, I'm watching the original Anaconda now. Um, when you compare this series to the Anaconda series, the Anaconda series looks, although I haven't, I haven't even seen the sequels, seen only seen bits and portions of the sequels to Lake Placid, but um, I haven't really, you know, um, took the time to really watch all of them, but there's nothing that really stands out about them. Um, with the Anaconda series, on the other hand, there's, they're planning on, you know, well, they have, like, um, the Baywatch guy in part three, which it could be interesting, poorly animated snakes, but poorly animated snakes just come off better than poorly animated 
crocodiles to me. They're both pretty generic. They're both pretty generic, but crocodiles in general aren't, you know, the most whatever. And I'm perfectly fine with a creature feature flick. I like plenty of creature feature flicks. Like Cujo. Cujo is a pretty decent flick. But I, in all honesty, really don't care much for Lake Placid. It's not my cup of tea. Anyways, thank you guys for enjoying this video. Thank you. Like the video, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the other videos that I will be putting out soon. I only have like 11 more reviews to do for you. Um, I will do those on a later date. Hopefully I'll do them on every day accordingly, but instead of, you know, doing the scheduling shit as I've been doing whatever bye